It's been two years since we opened. At the time, we just kind of was like sick of our day jobs, sick of the cubicle life and whatever, and we just didn't want to... I was actually a pre-med major, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. Let's, let's open the store. Like, we wanted to have like a pillar of old how it was to shop for records when we were kids and how much fun it is. We had just kind of picked what the, what the best things about those stores were and brought it into our store. Having in-store performances, having um, the ability of local performers can come in the store and say, you know, hey, I want to promote my record. Can I just play a couple songs? You know, being able to do that and looking in D.C., like at the time, there was just a couple of niche punk stores, indie stores, but there wasn't like a nice one small independent. You'd have to learn how, you know, in some of the punk stores, it was just, there was too high fidelity. You'd walk in and be like, why are you here? You know, you just couldn't, you, they were just so, uh, you know, uh, surly when you walked in. They were just too cool, too cool to talk to you. So I just didn't like that atmosphere. I was like, you know, if you want to come here and shop with your parents, great. We, I want to be able to have records for them and have records that are like, you know, totally punk rock or underground hip hop or mainstream. I don't care if you want to buy a Britney Spears record. I, I don't care, you know. I was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. Right when I was uh, born, it was like during apartheid. As soon as I was born, we moved to Canada. <laughs> and then I grew up in Toronto. Uh, and then that was uh, about 89, I moved to D.C. When I was a kid, like, I, my dad and my parents grew up listening to Hindi music, and Hindi music revolves around a lot of film music. It's through the films, it's like soundtracks. Mm -hmm. And then he was also into pop music a little bit, you know, just when we were younger, and, and so I got into, like, remember him buying The Police, and, you know, Michael Jackson, like I said, and, like, whatever was top ten at the time. Now I'm a huge, avid audiophile, I have, like, you know, meticulously collected like a thousand or so more CDs and vinyls and all kinds of things. So, I always try to work at Towers and I was at Tower Records so much that I would just help customers when I was there. And I guess I just didn't, I don't have the look really, I, don't, I didn't have like the piercings and the red hair. Every time I applied, like I would know more about music than anybody there. And like I said, I would always like just customers would be asked, asked questions almost to me when I was there and I'd just be like, oh yeah, it's over there, you know. And, I, and we listen to everything, that's our job, you know, that's our job. if. A lot of times during Christmas, parents come in and say, well, you know, I like this, this, this. And I would like, oh, there's a new artist and then doing some jazz right here. This is a great record. And they'll, they'll like it. You know, we we're, we're really want to be like, this is our job. We can find you what you want. Whatever style of music you like, come in, we'll hook you up, and we'll, you know, sit you down in the corner with the three or four CDs that we recommend. And then you can listen to them and, like, see what you say. And we can keep working on it. And a lot of regular customers come in here now. They just... Sometimes when you listen to it, they just ask me, hey, Nine, what do you think? Is this good or bad? Okay, you like it? Good, I'm buying it. That's it, you know? You know, I think it's it's art. Music is art. You should go out and, and see it, you know? And sometimes, these, especially these days, you're sitting behind a computer, or you're letting, like, there's a lot of, like, little internet sites. You People just go to the site, the site tells them what's good, and they come to the store. Or they get a little download or something. And it just doesn't seem right. It's supposed to be a, a living, breathing thing. You should go out and see it. You know, when you come to the store, what type of store, like, I'd like people to listen to what's playing on the thing and say, hey, this is great or this is terrible. You know, ask about it. It should be, it should be so much more hands-on instead of sitting behind your computer and, and downloading stuff or, you know, that's why we have a listening room because you walk in here and a friend says, hey, check out the new, you know, whatever record. You can come in and say, hey, I'll listen to it, sit in the room, relax, you know, get out and see the world. Call yourself in, now it just begins, sway along. The beat grows long while listening to songs sway along. Open your windows, call out now. The boat's gonna carry us away. Open your windows, call out now. The boat's gonna carry us away. to feed, but the wise man ate their seeds, sway along.